Chicka chicka yeah! What up YouTube? It's your boy Zag Zyler. And we are, of course, yet again, back in the gym for a brand new installment. A brand new implementation here on the channel. Guys, what up, Dale? Um, I hope all of you guys are doing wonderful. And I hope all of you guys are staying safe during this holiday season. It's already the new year, guys. It's already the end of December. I can hardly believe it. It's like life is just flashing before my eyes. I'm sure many of you guys feel the same way. However, I'm here to entertain you guys, educate you guys, inspire, motivate, or just entertain you guys um, with this video. So we have a complete chest workout. This was just a session where I went in with a tripod, my camera, um, one of my cameras, I should say. This is an older camera that I was using. Um, interesting lighting, to say the least, in this video. And I just wanted to get some footage for you guys. Just film something. Just to get some content together. Um, and that's exactly what I did. You know, this is a stereotypical workout. This is me going through a session where it's just me. I don't have a spotter. I don't have conversations. People are pretty respectful when they see me filming in the gym. They don't, like, come up and take away from me working too much or anything. But my goal for today's session was to touch the 150 pound dumbbells. And that's exactly what we did. I had not touched them in several weeks, maybe even months before this video. So the fact that I was able to move those weights was impressive to me. And I was definitely okay with that leaving the gym. Um, and just touching those heavier poundages, I mean, I was sore for several days um, following this session. Using those dumbbells, it's, it's challenging. I mean, picking them up, as you saw, was a challenge in itself. Just keeping them balanced and how long and awkward these dumbbells are when you go to press them. It's just a very hard movement at that point in time. You feel like you're Ronnie Coleman back in some of his heydays with the 200-pound dumbbells on the flat bench and on the incline bench for 12 to 14 reps it's incredible so um, my gym only goes up to the 150 pound dumbbells so that's what I had to work with and I feel as though I want to I'm motivated to work with these 150s more and more for things like rows shrugs um, curls just kidding but just to get used to them and I remember back when the 125s at my older gym seemed impossible to touch. Even picking up one of those 125 pound dumbbells was a task. It was like picking up a small, like a full grown human being at that point in time. And I made it a goal to touch those 125s until they felt like 100 pound dumbbells. So I would press them, I would work my way up to actually shoulder pressing them, I would shrug them, I would just carry them around until my body became more acquainted with them and it just became easier to carry around and utilize those heavier dumbbells on certain exercises. So I guess I'm trying to say that I would like to do that with the 150s as well. Um, but this gym, it's weird. The dumbbells, when you get up there past the hundreds, um, they go in increments of like 100 pound dumbbells and then I think straight from there there's a pair of 115s. There might be a pair of 105 pound dumbbells, I can't remember. But from the 115s, we just got a pair of 120s. And from there, you have to go directly to the 150s. Am I forgetting a pair of 125s? I don't know, guys. But what I'm trying to get at is that making jumps in terms of dumbbell presses, it's difficult. You know, it requires planning. And that's exactly what I had to do for this session. Like, okay, do I want to go up in increments of 20 pounds, 30 pounds, and that's something I'm trying to familiarize myself with is getting comfortable with making those jumps to conserve energy for my main working set so that I can put the most amount of energy into that set. Man, I just went on a rant about all of that. So yeah, um, we did a couple of different pressing movements. You guys know I'm a high volume type of a dude and I didn't really have a plan for this session per se. Um, I kind of looked around the gym. It was a little bit crowded in there. 
and I tried to find areas where it wasn't so crowded. I tried to pick exercises for a complete chest workout, hitting the chest from multiple different angles. Of course, your incline, your flat, and your decline movements. Um, and yeah, my endurance has been pretty strong. My strength in general has been very capable. I mean, I've, I've, I've maintained my strength, you know, despite staying away from like the power lifting as of recent i've just been focused on building quality i'm not looking to become a mass monster or anything like that i just want quality tissue when i take off my shirt i'm very critical of myself when i analyze my body and there's just small improvements that i want to make over time my body weight I mean, it fluctuates. It's somewhere between 215 and I can get all the way up to like 225 pounds while maintaining a shredded midsection. And that's something that I would like to continue to do as I gain weight. But I'm in a weird spot because I'm six feet tall and at 220 pounds, it's, it's not like I want to gain a whole lot more weight. I want to be comfortable in my skin. I want to remain athletic. I want to be able to sprint um, if I want to do sprints or jump on a trampoline. Just simple day-to-day -day activities without getting extremely winded or feeling like I'm going to tear a muscle or something like that. Um, so I'm not so focused on, oh my gosh, I need to be 265 in this wintertime off-season, bulk mode season, whatever you want to call it. Right now, I'm just trying to stay lean. I'm trying to get stronger. I am trying to grow. But in addition to that growth, I would like the details to come out a bit. And I'm not focused on cutting, so that might be a little bit difficult to understand. And my explanation isn't the best. But, you know, here we are. You can have an idea of what I'm looking like. You can see my tie-ins from my lats into my obliques. Um, I'm not really feathered and I'm not that dry, but I think that I have... A decent amount of conditioning along with size like I'm improving it's it's definitely apparent to me that I'm making improvements where I would like to from my back to my legs to just bringing down my waist with my corset training it's all coming together and I would like to continue sharing this process with all of you guys I have a lot of stuff that I'm working on behind the scenes guys that you're gonna be hearing about in the very near future and I'm so excited I can't release any of the details just yet, but I want to just thank you guys so much going into the new year. You know, let's stay motivated, let's stay determined, focus on our goals, and continue this process together, guys, on physical and mental wellness, as well as fitness. I love you guys so much. Peace out, bye.